Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Antron egg. I've also seen this referred to as the nuke egg. Variations of these egg patterns have been around for quite some time, and they are simple and quick to tie. Best of all, they're very effective. This is a great fly to have in your box for spring fishing here in Maine when the suckers are spawning. Uh, typically I tie it in sizes 14 and 16 for the smaller trout, and if you're chasing steelhead, you might want to try a size 8 or 10. Here's the fly in the vise. So the hook we have in the vise is a TMC 2488H. This is the heavy version of that hook. This fly should be fished right down on the bottom. And the thread we're going to use today is Danville's Flymaster 6 aught in the color white. Well, we'll start our thread right behind the hook eye, form a jam knot in the base, cut our thread. The egg sac for this fly and the, the blood dot is just going to be some Antron bright steelhead dubbing. And the colors I'm going to use are bright yellow and Chinese red. So we'll start with uh, the egg sac itself. Just some wispy bits of material is all we need. And we're going to tie these in, tie this in on in three separate clumps. The idea is to surround the hook shank with the material and still keep it wispy. Cut off our excess in the back. And now the red, we're just going to form a small dubbing noodle with this. This is going to form the blood dot, make a small ball in the center of the fly. And then open spiral turns with the thread down the hook shank to the bend. And we're going to fold the yellow material back over the ball. and tie it off at the base. Take our whip finish tool. See it or not, cut our thread. I'm going to slide this up forward to form it egg sac like that and cut our material. A little head cement. And our fly is finished. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to view all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next time.